Hello there, Heart family, and welcome back to another pop-up update with yours truly. My name is Winnie O, and I got you covered on the latest from the blog page from the website. That's at www.harpnow.org. Um, now, as you may know, you know we deal with all things harassment and assault-related incidents. So whether that is street harassment, transit harassment, domestic violence, domestic abuse, child abuse, um, police brutality, um, sexual assault bullying, workplace harassment, all that across the spectrum of harassment and assault, we got you covered. Um, also, be sure to uh, harp it if you if you experience or you witness um, harassment or related uh, incident, be sure to harp it. By harping it, you help us uh, develop a more robust uh, data repository so that it may be more reflective of what's really happening out there. Um, also, if you haven't had a moment to check out the latest blog posts, you're gonna want to. Um, I will drop out some of the latest titles and again these are quick reads okay they're not meant to belabor you at all if anything um, the point of the blog post is to help provide a bit more context in some of the matters that people sometimes don't even realize uh, uh, count as harassment or assault right because again as, as a society we have normalized a lot of problematic behavior and so you know sometimes we don't realize that you know an incident was harassment until somebody else tells their story until somebody else kind of gives shares an example shares an experience that we resonate with and we realize oh i i didn't pick up on that i didn't realize that that was actually a harassment incident or an assault incident right um and also sometimes i, I think it's because of the way things are worded such as police brutality um, it seems like people have actually, for some demographics, they've actually become desensitized to the gravity of that word. And so once we begin to break it down um, to the various components of harassment that make up, let's say, things like police brutality, right? Or the things that make up street harassment, you know, it's because it's not just catcalling, right? There's so many other things that are associated with it, with these blanket statement words to describe certain certain types of harassment or assault incidents. So if you haven't checked these out, please do. Um, that's at www.harpnow.org and click on the blog page and voila, okay? They're all less than like three minute readings. So we got topics such as the criminalization of victims, sexual abuse to prison pipeline, okay? Um, sexual abuse, male survivor st statistics, uh, domestic abuse, a victim's dilemma, elder abuse, a silent crisis, um, sexual harassment in the workplace, do's and, don do's and don'ts, fam, come on now, okay? Um, defund the police, a different perspective, okay? You definitely wanna check that out. Uh, beware of kettles, a police brutality tactic. Yes, do you know what a kettle is? Yeah, if you do, like, if you don't, uh, comment. <laughs> yeah, um, harassment uh, and abuse in the military, don't ask, don't tell. Mm, yeah, uh, street and transit harassment beyond catcalling. Definitely check that out um, if you want to learn more about street and transit related harassment um, and what that is and how, you know, folks might experience it or maybe you have experienced it, right? important um, also another police brutality um, highlight police brutality failure on several layers of accountability right it's important that we begin to like unpack these blanket statements on what harassment or assault looks like to the everyday civilian right so be sure to check that out and the most recent uh, blog post is titled the privilege of gender a social conditioning okay you definitely don't want to miss any of these again they're quick reads you know you can read them on the go if you're waiting for your uber if you're waiting for your tr public transit if you're in between meetings or something and just looking to you know to fill up some time this is a, these are great in informative um little snippets on you know how you can better educate yourself on the various types of harassment and assault related incidents that exist in society that far too often have actually been very normalized and that's not cool so yeah um, be sure to check them out at the website 
or if you're you know if you have social media be sure to connect with us like share subscribe all that good stuff um invite your friends <laughs> tell them about the website tell them about the resource and the various ways that they could use harp for their for their benefit um if you know somebody who is going through a situation of harassment or assault be sure to share with them this resource and be sure to help them get the help they need right because you know sometimes just simply being a listening ear is what somebody may need um sometimes you know kind of encouraging them to get um, the necessary authorities involved and again that may not always necessarily mean police so sometimes that means child uh, support services that sometimes that means um, mental health services sometimes that means um, advocacy uh, work or advocacy group um, support so you know help looks different um, depending on the context of the issue like we cannot take away the context from the issue at hand context matter context matters and so do words words matter just as much as context so you know it's important to look to evaluate the situation as a whole before making you know snap these snapshot this decisions it's so important to make um well-rounded um judgments on you know people's circumstances so with that you know feel, be sure to connect with us on our social media platforms that's at harp now or that's at h-a-r-b-n-o-w-o-r-g until next time have a wonderful day take care of yourselves out there be well be safe and yeah we'll see you in the next post all right ciao guys <laughs>